All right, here we are inside the bathroom now, and as you can see, first thing I want to point out, you can notice the uh, regular texture of the RV of the board that was in the RV. Of course, you'll notice behind the shop, uh, behind the commode, it's totally different. The reason being is that originally there was a panel here. Of course, it was just like this, and then right down in here, there was a little maybe six by six access port that they had put in there. And of course, if you saw the video on the outside where we were looking at replacing the city filler, there was no way I was going to get into the plumbing there with just that little six by six hole. So this entire piece had to be tore out. Now here is a picture of what it looked like with it tore out. So you can see everything running through there. I apologize. Some of this work was done through the winter, so that's my heater that kept uh, everything from freezing and me from freezing while working on it. And I should have moved it out of the way before I took the picture. But a couple things you can notice there. You can see the framework. That all had to be tore out. Of course, the countertop was out. The cabinetry was out. All that framework got to be re re rebuilt. But what the main point you can see there is you see the raceway. And you can see that the electrical lines run through, there's ducting, everything that runs from the front to the rear of the RV runs through here. So that's where we had issues when I was talking about outside of cutting through to the inside wall because I didn't know what was on the other side of it. And as you can see, there were plenty of things on the other side. So ultimately what I did, as you can see right down in here, in the lower corner here, I dug out, I tore this whole panel out, all this framework out. Uh, which wasn't too difficult. Again, everything around these RVs is a robot weight. So everything is built with like three quarter by three quarter inch wood. So everything's flimsy. Of course, they'll tell you it's lightweight. Tore all of that out. Of course, as you look here, you can see right down in here, if I can get to it, if it's in there, yeah, here's where the, this is where the uh, outside filler came in. And here's where you can see all the PEX comes into the picture. Of course, once that's all in there, that all had to be done up and we've discussed all the PEX and everything. And so while I was in there, believe it or not, one of these ducts you see here was completely cut in half. This is the duct that runs from the furnace to the rear bedroom from day one. It had been cut in half and uh, just the way it was assembled when they did it and it never had worked. So uh, of course that ducting was all redone, wiring, of course you see the vent stack, you see uh, 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 the, the two smaller ducts you see are the... Uh, go to the uh, go to the uh, gray water and the black water tanks. Those are tank heater vents. Of course, the big one runs to the back, and then there's 12 volts, there's 20, uh, 120, everything runs through here. So I had to tear all this out to be able to get to where I need to do as far as the city water filler and as far as well as repair all this. And then, of course, as we come back live, you can see here, I fabricated a panel, covered it. Now, what I did was this panel is only screwed in by a single screw. The way I designed it down behind the commode is a single screw. So if you come in, pull these drawers out, pull the commode out, there's a single screw down there, and this entire panel just pops out, just swings right out, gives you complete access if you ever need back in there again. Uh, you know, obviously you shouldn't need in there too much, but I need it in there, and so it forced me to have to fabricate new panel, tear everything out. All this cabinetry was refabricated. Of course, this is hide the vent stack. There's a vent stack that goes out to the roof from here, from the plumbing and everything. Of course, the plumbing you see comes around into the sink. And so everything was put in, of course, new sink, all new fixtures when we look at the plumbing. Pretty straightforward to just put a new sink in here. Same sink, checked all the plumbing, everything, make sure there was no leaks there. And so that is pretty much finished up the project once we did the PEX work inside of the city water filler that we did, or that we had discussed on the outside. Next, we're going to have a take a look at uh, the project where we'd show uh, of the shower. All right, as we continue on in our plumbing series, we can see that we're inside the RV here. Of course, the bright light you can see in the video there is the shower door. Uh, it's a little late in the day here. Most of the filming has to be done more toward the afternoon after work. So what you see, because it's a bright, obviously because it has the, uh, uh, the uh, sunlight over the top of the sun dome thing over it. So I uh, just want to just cover a couple of quick points here uh, as far as some stuff that we did in, in the shower. Let me move around here uh, in, uh, as far as uh, the plumbing. So there, if you saw plumbing, uh, I believe number two, you saw where we were underneath the RV and uh, we were talking about the drain. Well, here's the drain inside the RV. 
course that's the brand new drain you can see there as I told you as I spoke in that our in that uh, video the uh, the drain was in hideous shape and all that type of stuff of course as you can see here we'll just pan around then we'll talk about it this is the surround of course in the RV I replaced all the plumbing in it and of course this is a new shower and shower pan one thing I didn't do in the pan is I didn't tackle the yellowing and there's a bunch of kind of complicated scenarios that you find on the web as far as uh, chemically altering this ABS and turning it back white uh, the, the shower surrounding this thing is in flawless condition other than it's yellowing and so I didn't tackle it because when I looked at prices I believe the surrounds around 300 bucks and then it's you know another couple hundred bucks for the pan so you know last thing I wanted to do even though I had all this out the last thing I wanted to do was tear it up so you can see here I'll pan back a little bit you can see the door the door was all completely removed clean 13 years worth of soap and scum removed Looks like a brand new door now now a couple of things I want to touch base really on as far as plumbing goes as we talked about in the drain is in this pan now when I had this pan out I did two things you'll notice of course this is a underneath this pan right here is fiber as a uh, a beaded foam is about two inches and then this all resides on top of a, a, a wood platform and so what I did when I had this out I did a couple of things I tried to extend the life of the pan as you can see right here is where this is curved uh, I used a urethane product it's actually made for roofs but it's a great product it gets really uh, really really strong product of course it's flexible I ran a really thick bead on the, of course I'm on the back side of this now really thick bead there all the way around and then right here where you can see this is curved I ran a thick bead and then smeared it all the way around and the purpose of that was to really reinforce these things right here and keep them from cracking another thing I did was around this drain all the way around it of course you might have saw some of that in the video from underneath I put a nice health healthy coating of that and the goal was try to extend the life of this pan as much as possible and it's it's in there pretty strong so that was one good thing I did of course you we not much you can see here as far as the drain most of that was done on the back side as we had talked about earlier one thing I did do and I just want to touch quickly on it here shut the door is if I, let me get down here a little bit is uh if i can get proper i know some of this camera work is jiggly but uh, unfortunately i'm solo here if you see right here that this was all out of course this is a tray this is a metal this is a white metal piece of uh of aluminum right here that that uh, actually fastens this that actually fastens to the wood here this screws to it and that kind of what holds it all together now the problem I had was that this piece right here original skin it was pretty bad shape it was bowed of course this is all just a wood with a vinyl covering on it the vinyl was all peeling off it was looking pretty rotten so I tore all this out and underneath here were two one by ones which are actually three quarter by three quarter boxes that were built around here that's basically set under this entire lip right here and what had happened was because I, I think what the, the problem was there was never a leakage in the shower you can't dry in the shower so you have to get out here into the floor to dry and remember this was all shag carpet and I think just from years of just standing right here drying off that water just swicked up through that carpet and got to this got to this uh, skin here and really started to get to the wood underneath it was not rotten but it was uh, it was working its way there the decking itself really wasn't affected but this was all I mean you could have I could have just taken my finger and poked it through it so I cut all the skin off tore all those one by ones out all this behind it and basically reconstructed everything under the shower there's a there's a platform that the shower itself sets to I redid that another thing I did as I did that as I reconstructed this back is I coated it all in urethane as I mentioned in the flooring video if you saw it the entire deck was coated in ver uh, urethane but I started out here and so everything under the shower is coated in urethane and so the last thing I did is when I got right here because all of this obviously rests on this is I made this solid now there's a skin here but under here there's a solid one by eight piece of lumber so as you can hear that solid wood right there it's not hollow 
this whole piece right here sets under here is all solid wood and so that's all glued and screwed in of course and it's urethane and then what I did was I robbed a piece of uh, there's a panel inside the closet that gives you access to the sh to the back side of the shower for the faucet and stuff and it was made of this I robbed it to be able to get some skin to be able to do some repairs and then I just fabricated another one inside there so then I just reskinned this trimmed it up of course and the floor trim went down here and so now the shower is really really I mean as solid as you can make it again if you can hear that that's solid wood right there and of course on the molding this is all solid oak molding it's it's uh, caulked here caulked here of course and everything's caulked up in here this is all of this under here is all siliconed all siliconed right here so the nice thing about that is if you take a shower you can step out onto this floor here solid vinyl and the water is not going to damage anything of course as you saw in the flooring video as I mentioned the whole floor underneath this is urethane as well so it's really nice that you can come right out of the shower stand right here where you have to dry off and not have to worry about any of the side effects of water or any type of penetration in the water this was a pretty significant job of course tearing out a shower and rebuilding in an RV always is but it turned out very nice of course it looks brand new and so that's really what I wanted to see on the shower since we had the earlier video that looked under it and so that's it uh, on the shower uh, there's a couple other plumbing videos that have to deal with the bathroom be sure and check those out if I can back up a little bit you can see the shower of course the shower is outside the bathroom in this RV it's basically in the hallway in this type of Tioga and uh, I'm really pleased with it the shower looks just like it just came out of the factory so uh, that's it uh, be sure and join us for our continuing series uh, renovation and uh, we hope to see you then bye